Hi there. Let's learn about the new Rotating Components tool on Inspire's Fluids ribbon. The Rotating Components tool lets you simulate the effects of parts like fans or turbines in your fluids model. Let's get started. We've already set up this model's fluid domain and designated an inlet and an outlet. Before we designate a part as a rotating component, we first need to designate it as an embedded solid. Embedded solids are different from bounding solids because you can reposition or resize them between design iterations without having to redefine the model's fluid domain. Now let's click the Rotating Component tool. We'll hide the fluid domain to make it easier to see what's happening. Let's select the part we want to designate as a rotating component. We've generated a new part, Rotating Volume 1. We can see it in the model browser. Now we need to configure it in the micro dialog. The global x-axis is the default axis of rotation. That won't work for this model, so we'll change it to global z. The offset defines the distance between the rotating component surface and the rotating volume surface. We'll set the offset to 0.01 meters, or 1 centimeter. That's about 10% of the rotating part's diameter, which is optimal. Take care that the offset doesn't overlap any other boundaries. We can control the rotation speed. 60 RPM is a little slow for our purposes, so we'll double that. The default rotation direction is the opposite to the one we want. We can click the plus minus button to reverse it. Now we'll exit the tool and run an analysis. Let's take a look at the data. Note that the part's rotation is not animated. That saves processing power that can be better spent on modeling the fluid's behavior. Observe how the streamlines behave when they encounter the rotating component. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more tips on getting the most from your Altair products.